Hello everybody, um, if you watched my video from yesterday, um, you'll remember that I mentioned that I've got a box set of um, Beatles LPs uh, to open and have a look at today. Um, it's absolutely killed me sitting on these um, overnight, um, but I'm going to have a look now. Um, the interest, the really interesting thing about these is that um, it was quite a nondescript listing. Um, I've got no idea which variation of the box set this actually is. Um, it's slight, it seems on the face of it to be slightly unusual one because it includes a copy of a collection of Beatles oldies, which I've been trawling through Discogs and generally they don't include that album. Um, so let's have a look. Um, all right, I'll just set my camera up. So, for those of you who haven't watched yesterday's video, um, I mentioned yesterday that um, I've built up an entire spares collection over the last month or so. Um, and I can't decide whether to keep that and sell this box set on or the other way around. It's re I've never had one of these before. I must say that that's very heavy item. Heavier than I thought. Right. Okay, so looking good so far. A bit scuffed on the back. Um, I must say this is a very exciting one. I've never had one of these before. Right, so Okay. So I haven't seen any of the records. All I've seen are the sleeves. So the first thing to say about this is that the box is in really good condition. Really happy with that. Really not much wrong with that at all. So, let's go chronological, uh, chronological, shall we? Seeing as Please Please Me was happened to be at the top. Right. So this looks absolutely mint. I would imagine that that's the original inner sleeve. Okay, so it certainly looks to be a UK item with the two box EMI labels, right? So that one at least is absolutely mint. Happy with that. This is looking very similar. Look at that. Wow, this is quite exciting, this little bit dusty, but that's in really nice condition. Shows over such slight signs of wear. I don't think that there's anything too alarming on that. Right, so let's have a look next at a hard day's night. So we're all present and correct so far. Okay, so this is interesting. Right, that is a that sleeve does not match. The inner sleeve doesn't match the first two items. Would it have come like that originally? I don't know. Comments in the comments box, by all means. Um Yep, lovely. Really nice copy. Um, what next? What next? Gonna have to be Beatles for sale. Another really stunning item by the looks of things.
Superb. Well, that one is very dusty. But it's undamaged. Important. Look at the dust on that. But lovely copy nonetheless. Item five. So again, not a matching in a sleeve. Left side A. Left side B. So these are all repressings from the 1970s, unless I'm very much mistaken. Beautiful. My goodness. If I do let these go, it's going to be with a heavy heart. But unfortunately, I don't have an infinite amount of money to spend on records. I wish I did. Look at that. Wow. We are well on our way to this being... A real holy grail item, I think. The main thing that I'm slightly concerned about at this point in time is whether the artwork will be included in pepper and white because I don't actually know. Beautiful. Superb copy of Revolver. The discs at this point were still quite heavy. Um, let's have a look at this. Right, so this is the wild card because from everything that I can see, this generally was not included in these, but it certainly seems like it came with this box because otherwise presumably it wouldn't have fit in spanker that is actually my probably my favorite compilation because and i know it's a little bit marmite i absolutely love the sleeve i know that there's some people that don't love the artwork on that um what next oh the chronology, I think, chrono chronologically, we look at Pepper next. Right. Praise be. It has the insert, the sleeve is stunning. Always wrong foots me a little bit, this sleeve, because I always think that the text on the spine should be the other way around. Ah, the lovely crackle. As we open up the gatefold. I'd say that one has been played a bit. Again, it's dusty. There's a little mark on it there. But I, I think that'll probably just come off with a wipe. Superb. We're doing well. We're doing well. Um, Carl, what comes next? Let's have a look at this. So, of course, there's no um, serial number on this. What with it being a repress. side C, that side D, light signs of use, certainly nothing alarming, it's got that nice EMI inner sleeve as well, I 
Okay. So, poster wise, it is present and correct. I'm not going to open it out for the purpose of this video. It has come apart slightly at the seams. I'm not going to open that all the way out right here and right now because I think I would probably damage it. Um, that's a bit of a shame. There are no postcards. But if that's the worst thing that can be said about this box set, then I've still won. That's nice. Nothing indicates to me that these records won't play nicely. Yellow Submarine. Oh, look at the sleeve. Spanking. Beautiful. Probably, I would say, the least loved of this lot. Hmm, I don't think that's the original yellow sleeve. Um, no, I think that's different. I might actually have one of these lying around that I could switch out. Look at that. Really nice. So, I hope that wasn't too contentious a thing to say about this album. But with the best of respect to George Martin, R.I.P. Um, I can't imagine loads of people listen to side B of this all the time. Saying that though, there's some absolute corkers on side A. Um, hey Bulldog um, is one of my favorite Beatles songs. And I would say possibly the most underrated Beatles song. Um, right, so this one has come apart. Um, and to be fair, the person that listed it did mention that, but that's no biggie because that's just a dab of glue along the bottom seam there and that's that sorted. Interesting that the print is blue on that one. If you know about the um, inner sleeves that came with this set, then I'd be really interested to hear that. That's not damage. That just needs a blooming good clean. They all need a clean, I would say. Nice, nice copy. And last, not least, it's the rarities. I think this originally, I think, this only was available with this collection. I might be wrong. Worth having for rain, I would say. The first track on side B, which is another, easily another one of my favorite Beatles songs. Spanking. Very nice. Okay. I'm pretty happy with that. Um, what do you think? Should I keep this collection and sell the set that I showed you on yesterday's video or vice versa? I honestly don't even, I don't even know what's more valuable um, because there were some real gems in the set that I showed you yesterday um, but saying that these box set collections are infinitely collectible they're actually quite hard to find um, and so I don't know let me know what you think in the comments I hope you enjoyed that video um, as I say I've been looking forward to doing that all week. Um, I'm going to give a couple of these a spin right now, but I can't imagine um, I can't imagine that there's going to be any particular faults 
audio wise um, so yes if you enjoyed that and I hope you did then please uh, hit the like button and subscribe to my channel um, creeping up to 50 subscribers now big numbers um, so uh, I appreciate all of you okay and um, I will be back again soon no doubt with more record related nonsense okay cheers everybody goodbye